doing studying abroad is the best experience you can ever have. My name is Shalara and I come from Sweden originally in the most amazing town called Gothenburg. Uh, I've been in Australia for a little bit over two years and I currently live in Bondi where we are right now and um, this is just life here. Me and my best friend were out on adventures just supposed to go for a month after graduation and uh, just try to relax for a bit and one thing turned into another and we sat one day in Bangkok and my friend says shouldn't we go to Australia and I said yes and five days later we were on a plane to Australia so it's never been it's never been really been like a dream of mine I hear a lot of people that oh, I've been dreaming about coming here for 10 years but the moment I sat my foot down here, I just knew that this was my place. We decided to try at Sydney and see what all the bus was about. Uh, so then I was here and worked at a furniture company. Absolutely loved it. I do a lot of small jobs. Um, girls gotta pay our bills. Yeah. Uh, but I've just started working with an amazing production company that produces short films. So kind of like a commercial thing, but it could be for anything. So I'm so fortunate to be a part of this with so it's super cool guys, Ole and Christian. And it's just, yeah, it's so much fun. I guess spend days just like this. Uh, you wake up in the morning and because Bondi, it's um, it's like a, almost like a small town in a big city, and everyone just put their trainers on in the morning. Early birds. If you're out by seven, you're late, and people walk around. They exercise on the beach. You have your morning coffee and breakfast at a cafe. You might just walk around doing a coastal walk have a great lunch. I think honestly most of my spare time I spend at eating. <laughs> Spending time with friends and just exploring new places. There's so many amazing places around here so whenever you feel like it, an adventure is so close. ocean, the surf, the people, it's so easy. I honestly think that living here, you can honestly take a book, take a magazine, sit in a cafe with your coffee and you'd be happy. And even if you don't even, you don't know anyone, you may be all alone, you came on your own, you don't know anyone, but you will. Because people always ask you questions, like, cool shoes or, oh, where, I, where are you from? And or you get to chat with whoever makes your coffee and it's it's such an easy lifestyle. Yeah, we, we call it Swazi, so Swedish Aussie, so Swazi. <laughs> so I reckon if you've been here for more than a year, you're allowed to call yourself a Swazi. <laughs> I sat in a where you'd be like, okay, so what am I going to do now? Uh, my visa runs out, should I go back to Sweden? Do I want to go somewhere else? Am I ready with Sydney? And I felt that I probably wasn't ready with Sydney and I explored my options, how can you do? And I felt that I enjoyed what I studied um, in the university, but also working here, I also realized that I might be missing some important things that I want to have in my career. So I straight away thought, okay, leadership, management, product management perhaps. Um, and I had a sit down with a friend of mine. So we just had dinner, again eating, um, at a taco place. And he said, 
why don't you study? Just go for it, do it, try it out for a year. And he said that he's been in contact with this amazing um, company that would help you. Uh, this called Study Anywhere. And uh, so yeah, I went on the website straight away. This super good little, little um, pop-up window pops up and I got to speak to the guys and ever since it's just been amazing. It's been the best experience. I googled a lot, so I got to talk with the guys. They sent me straight away like this: you can do this, you can take this course. It will cost this much and take this long. And um, so obviously, yeah, I googled a lot, and you do get a bit hesitant because internet is the internet. Um, and so, but you, you look on reviews. I feel like if someone has a company, maybe has a Facebook page that actually has genuinely followers. Um, so no, it just worked out so well and to be honest because you never know where you are and just being able to open up your phone, you're on the bus somewhere or you have a busy day at work and you only have 10 minutes, not have to go to a meeting, go somewhere, it, it, it helped me out a lot actually. So I'd say that the, doing it over internet, over email has been really helpful and saved a lot of time. The opportunity to have a lawyer help you because that would have been a cost that I wouldn't have been able to afford on my own and being able to actually have a lawyer that I can email, ask questions because it's, it's nerve-wracking and waiting for a visa I don't think that people realize how stressful it is and I have gotten a completely new understanding on what it is to want to stay in a place but you might not be allowed uh, and then having a lawyer that I know got my back, he knows the in and outs, it's not just an agent, but he actually knows the laws and regulations has just, yeah, because the process, it does take time, but it has definitely put my mind to ease a lot. I'm staying in Australia, uh, plan to run uh, for Prime Minister, 2020. <laughs> no, not at all. My plan um, is to study for at least a year, perhaps two. Uh, meanwhile, combine that with working and just try to make a career about it, pretty much. Um, as for now, you never know what happens, but as for now, um, this is the place where I want to be, where I have my happy days. Always a scheme latte. I have never been a massive coffee drinker, but here, especially in Bondi, drinking coffee is what you do. And it's all of this most amazing combination of turmeric and matcha and latte, and it's incredible. But I usually just go for a skin latte. And one every morning just keeps my mood up, I guess. <laughs> I'd say do it. There's nothing um, it's, it's nothing as daunting to go to a completely new place. You've seen it on Google, you, but you don't know anything about it. Um, and it's, it's scary. And you also make a decision and commit to something. But doing studying abroad is the best experience you can ever have. Um, you get to experience a completely new culture, you get to meet new friends. And it will just like, who you are will just happen and you will be the happiest and it will be hard times but the good times you have is just, it's worth everything and you grow so much as a person and just, just being able to say that perhaps when you're 90, do you want to be there and said, oh I thought about it but I didn't or do you want to be I did this and it was incredible and I learned so much. So I just said go, pack your bag, you don't need much, a pair of shoes, a few shirts uh, and especially coming to Australia, it, you will get friends, everything will sort out because people are the friendliest you'll ever meet.